Ooh. Whoa. Ah, it's cold. Let's review some coffee. Okay, there's that. Oh, nope, the bow doesn't work. All right, so we're gonna. <laughs> Dark roast, that's what I'm talking about. All right, got the American flag on it. I'm digging the branding for sure. Uh, not to mention, did you see the box? I tried to make sure to show, not my address, but that. Coffee or die, all about that life. Probably gonna cut this out, post it on the wall behind me, cause that's the kind of guy that I am. Right up my alley. First impressions, branding is pretty dope. Uh, I'm liking the black matte finish on the bag. Um, the font choice is dope. Coming from a graphic design background, I can appreciate that. Bold aroma and smoky flavor. This was made for a rugged coffee drinker. This is the OG cup I've been using for years. Since it's actually already pre-ground, uh, usually I get my coffee whole bean, but not complaining about free coffee ever, ever. Never will you ever hear me complain about free, even if it's McDonald's, don't care. I'll drink free coffee from anywhere. Uh, anyway, you usually get a whole bean. I've got the grinder back here on the coffee setup. That baby in there. I'm gonna make this with no particular um, measurements or anything. I'm going to eyeball it, brew the water to about 200 degrees, let it cool off to about 190. I'm gonna brew this stuff and give it a first taste test impression and uh, we'll go from there. While that's cooling off, let's go ahead and give this a little sniff. First sniff is always my favorite. Let's see. <sighs> yeah, it smells dark, it smells dirty. Smells like I like it. It's exactly like the bag describes, I would say. Smoky and bold. I'm just gonna, tell me in the comments, tell me in the comments if this pisses you off. Me just pouring and not measuring anything, cause it kind of makes me upset, but it does look good. And it's pretty, uh, pretty dark there. Pretty dark. Water, and let's go in for the first pour. This is gonna overflow so quickly. I'm gonna have to go grab that other cup as soon as possible. Oh. Pick it up, 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 pick it up. There we go. Swap. All right, we just made that. <laughs> right at the tippy top. As I finish the pour, so not to waste. There we go. Okay, so while that's going, I guess I probably shouldn't talk, because that's kind of noisy. It honestly doesn't smell that exciting off the cuff. To be quite honest, it kind of just smells like coffee right now. I got hair in it. <sighs> Wish it was done. Almost done. Ten seconds. Three seconds. Now that that's done brewing, let's just go ahead and blow on this and see if we can get us a nice sip. I mean, it's all right. Maybe I didn't brew it proper. Kind of just tastes like coffee. Woo, it's hot. Oh, God. Oh, my throat has been violated. Well, tastes pretty normal to me. Uh, maybe my taste buds are tainted because I have already had a couple of cups of coffee that weren't this, and uh, that coffee is also dark, like everything that I drink usually. Um, so maybe it tastes exactly like the coffee that I was drinking earlier, or maybe it, I have just ruined my taste buds. 
but uh, I would say this is a pretty normal cup of coffee. Okay, starting to starting to cool off a little bit. Starting to cool off a little bit. Yeah, I think I might be a little too used to dark coffee because this is uh, this tastes pretty normal to me. Yeah, this tastes normal. During the editing of this video, I'm realizing that I did not ever really define um, what normal means to me. I'm drinking the coffee again, by the way. What does normal mean to me? I'm a crazy coffee drinker. I have a problem, and I drink my coffee like gasoline. I treat it as such, and I want it to taste as such. Give it to me black, and this is going somewhere I don't want it to go. <laughs> Defining normal. Normal to me means the coffee tastes like dark gasoline that was in a still for 20 years. I want it to taste bold and dark and I want it to, in fact, destroy my taste buds with every sip. So that is exactly what this coffee did for me. And based on your coffee preferences, you may or may not like this. If you enjoy a super dark, murdered out coffee roast, it's gonna be your coffee. If not, then maybe don't get this one. But based on my personal preferences, I would probably give it about an eight or a nine um, based off of just like the kick in the face that I like to have. Um, that's about it. So I hope I've given you the insight you were looking for. I really can't wait to try all the coffees that I possibly can in the amount of time that I have on this earth. <laughs> What is wrong with me? <laughs> if you have a coffee that you would like me to taste specifically, let me know in the comments below or hit me on my email, dg at dangalvan.com. And uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Drink it black. Peace. Give it to me black. And this is going somewhere I don't want it to go. <laughs> We're not putting that video out on the internet. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, give it to me. Give it to me hot and black. We're not, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Um. What is normal to me?